Poetry is my rhythm. Hard lines for the streets is all I got to give them. I hold a competition called Last Poet Standing here in Kansas City, Missouri. And I started in 2005 after going to Baltimore, Maryland and witnessing the original Last Poet Standing competition. And it is, who goes first? And what it is is we get 15 to 20 poets on stage. We draw their names randomly from a bucket. Um, poet A comes up to the microphone and says, Look, My name is Section 8. And my poetry is hotter than Poet B. And then they each have three minutes and ten seconds. The time starts, poets, as soon as you gesture to the audience. So if you come out here and you just walk in and then you start dancing or something, you are, you are, you start cropping. that's when your time starts. <laughs> to express themselves verbally without music, without instruments, without any sort of props whatsoever. And each judge puts up a one or a two for whichever poet they like better. The winning poet gets to stay to, you know, play another round. The last poet standing wins $200, up to 500 depending on which month it is. And they get to, the, to be the last poet standing for a month. Just one? Ah, uh, okay. And so they get bragging rights. But just because I rock a triple XLT don't mean I read books seldomly. Now Ward Roman shoes that he can't tie. Melvon's got stories if you've got the time. He'll impart the occurrences which migrate into his mind every time. And I love to prove him wrong when I speak. It's like a fetish. He's gambling and the stakes are your trust in his life. Out stepped a cowboy cock, almost three feet tall. Looking just like Brad Pitt in Legends of the Fall. Not forcing a poet to redefine the value of sex. Not questioning what happened next. So please, ladies, think before you have sex. Because you could be the topic of the poet that is going on next. Able to stand up tall with rhymes, dig your grave. Even faster than African sheep that slaves. So, Dad, I want to let you know that my pants are not hanging at my ankles and I'm not chasing these hoes or running from the police. You see, I'm at a university four years free making promises that I can keep. Dad, I want to let you know. Three. We got a one, a one, a one, a one, and a one. We got a two, a two, a two, a one, and a two. We got a two, a two, a two, a two, and a two. Last two poets. The last, give them the last two poets, Jillian and Mark Juan. Got all this the next to each other. KC is where I sat since I was bite-sized. Not exactly a perfect spot to spend a lifetime, so I sit and write rhymes and type lines, expressing whatever comes up to my mind. Okay, first of all, I didn't pay for this. I said no twist and I wanted my hair parted like this. And these braids are thick enough to form a fist. What I'm about to bust you with in your face. Got me waiting here all day. By the 4th of July, they count about 60 homicides and no five. No lie. So I suppose I'll talk about a place where your soul died. Got the Vaseline. Got me taking out my bling bling. So come on, witty. What you gonna do? Because I'm straight from Prospect 2. Because she's perfect with the twins. Similarly, your metaphors are brothers. Turning me back to a girl chick. Girl, you didn't know me like this. When it gets your $145 to one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. We got a one, a one, a two, a two, and a one. One wins it. Always applaud both poets. Give it up for Marquand and Jillian. Marquand is your last poet standing. You just got a hundred and some new fans, yo. I love y'all. Keep writing. Keep writing. And he loves you. KCPoets.com. It's a movement. February 16th. It goes down right here.